out in a tunnel today. Uh, yes, correct. What happened? Uh, probably I would uh, say that uh, how I came here first. Because uh, I even didn't know that I would be in uh, Bosnia even uh, two or three weeks ago. So for me it was very unexpectedly uh, to come here. And what I have experienced, um, I have experienced a completely different environment that uh, I even didn't uh, think uh, can exist because uh, I live myself, uh, I, I live in Egypt and for me it was like a kind of stereotypic uh, view that pyramids should look like uh, the ones that are in Giza. Uh, but here in Bosnia I completely realized that uh, there is a completely different world that um, I have discovered today for myself. Uh, I got a lot of information about also the um, about these uh, negative uh, ions that are in the air and about the um, different physical characteristics uh, and for me it's 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 just a discovery because uh, I feel uh, very relaxed and uh, as uh, you can see and you know yourself there is no any uh, ventilation uh, and you can uh, breathe uh, you can actually breathe normally so basically it shows that the knowledge of the uh, previous uh, civilizations uh, they are tremendous and we should uh, basically unite all our efforts uh, doesn't matter which country you came from to uh, to make the joint research and because it's our common heritage of all humanity I would say so there's no artificial ventilation for this huge labyrinth that winds exactly. beneath the complex I can't believe it we are now in this uh, place and uh, I feel so much comfortable so much relaxed even more comfortable than outside now this is strange because there's only one entrance there's no exit there's only one place to go in and out, and somehow the air is fresh all the way through this huge prehistoric labyrinth. This is this is strange. Uh, this is strange, and uh, probably it uh, it shows that uh, before people uh, certainly uh, used these places not uh, like uh, the pyramids, not as uh, burial places, but they uh, could have used them f uh, for some other purposes that we should actually study more. Uh, how and for what reasons the pyramids are built because they are built uh, in, uh, in the according to precise geographical coordinates according to uh, to certain locations so they are not just randomly built uh, for decoration or something like this they are built with the knowledge and um, why I came here because uh, we have also uh, the book Alatra uh, that uh, shows the achievement um, uh, actually of the previous uh, civilizations and for me uh, the visit uh, to the pyramids today was um, a discovery actually uh, I, I didn't expect it to be uh, that inspiring and that uh, that uh, relaxing now you're sitting here by megalith k1 you, you wanted to have your interview here now what's so special about this megalith uh, this megalith that, um, as far as I understood, uh, uh, underneath uh, there are some uh, water floors and uh, it was put here when, um, um, not, not to stop the water, but to a kind of, um, to protect, uh, to protect the place when uh, the, uh, when the, actually, uh, I can't uh, say um, precisely, but as far as I understood that uh, the uh, quartz uh, stone is inside and uh, the energy is kind of getting transformed when it comes through uh, this uh, megalith. And what is for me in particular is this Alatra symbol that uh, is uh, shown as inscription on the stone. Yeah, which uh, symbol is that? Uh, this looks like this. It looks like the crescent below and this uh, small uh, dot. This is a very old uh, symbol. It found uh, in Tripolian civilization, in uh, also in uh, ancient Egypt, and now, as we have seen in Bosnia, but basically everywhere. So the guided tour has gone past. Let's continue our interview. I just wanted to ask you one more question about the spirituality of this place. Um, I would say that um, this place is actually very unique and uh, I myself, uh, I have been doing meditation for more than five years and I think that uh, the developing uh, spiritual side uh, 
uh, or, and actually developing um, spiritual side of our life is uh, also so much important because we live in the consumer society that we mostly are focused on the, something materialistic and basically we forget that we humans uh, have also have also ha have the spiritual constituent in us we have the soul and uh, a lot of people they do not think about this and basically uh, they even do not ask the question who who you are and without answering this question who you are uh, all these uh, problems in your life start because you always run after uh, the new something you want to you want to acquire you want to uh, to buy something uh, and then in the end of the day you uh, life basically passes by and you realize that you didn't achieve uh, something important in your life because you are always are not satisfied with something. You bought a new car, you want another one. You bought something new uh, model of your computer, you want a new one. So it's never g uh, give satisfaction. But the spiritual life, uh, the meditation, it is where you uh, get this uh, source of um, of spiritual strength. Can we watch you take a deep breath of this air right now? How does it... How does it taste? It tastes... Uh, it tastes uh, very refreshing. Uh, very refreshing and... Um, something... Uh, something very... Uh, very new uh, and something very unique. Do you feel changed by this tunnel? Um, I think that still uh, the changes are inside of us and it depends uh, if you really um, want to pursue the changes in your life because you can enter the tunnel but after that you just go out and you still keep doing the same things you are getting angry you are getting uh, you continue the same lifestyle if you make the decision to change your lifestyle and to change your attitude and to change yourself then it's another thing because people can just come uh, the tunnel and end and forget about this so it must be the internal decision of the of your internal change, and that is what uh, the most important. And before entering this tunnel, I made this decision, uh, actually uh, for internal change. So I'm sure that this is what happens. Are you saying that intention is the key? Intention is the key, and your own decision. That is uh, that is the key. Olga, thank you so much. Tell us where you're from in Russia. Uh, I'm from uh, uh, from Russia, from Kaliningrad. A little town in Western Russia. Exactly. Olga, thank you. Thank you. For coming from the country in Russia and experiencing this beautiful prehistoric tunnel in the Bosnian Pyramid thank Complex. Thank you for this opportunity. To spread the light, not only here, but through the whole earth.